Hello everybody and welcome to what is episode 85 of Game Blurb Reactions. We've got a bit of a different light that we're trying out today, so let's see how that one goes. So, uh, I've been away for probably a week now. I've been battling some of uh, those mental health issues, like for the first time ever in my life. And do you know what? I'll give you a little rundown about that at the end of the episode. Uh, it's a little bit personal, but at the end of the day, I'm anonymous. And if me talking about some of my issues can help anybody, great, great stuff. Excellent. But for now, we've got a super one. Oh, and it's got a ideal name for the last week. So here we have a game on the Commodore 64, and it is Daily Thompson Super Test. Yes, it's a super test. So it's on the Commodore 64. I wonder if you could play it on the Spectrum as well. Aha, look, let's see what we have. An excellent game. The best track and field type game around. A joy to play. A good addictive game, Sinclair user. That's just a random Sinclair ZX Spectrum user. Thank you for that. Top quality action. Brilliant chart topper. Hmm, look at the graphics. We probably need to sort the light out a bit closer in some regards. We'll make some we'll make some adjustments for next time, I think. So here we have it. Daily Thompson Super Test. Nice little oh, let's have a look at the cassette. Is there some writing? There is some, and it says, The Hit Squad. Yeah, Commodore 64, The Hit Squad. Daily Thompson Super Test. Woo! Now we have a booklet. It tells us some of the things that we can play and do. Play and do. Rowing, penalties, ski jump, tug of war, laden. What's laden? Oh wait, is this now German? Yeah, it's maybe German now. Is that all you can do? Not many games, but I suppose, you know, we're, we're on a cassette tape here. All right, there we have it. I think that's possibly our first solely Commodore 64 game. I think I've done a couple of games that are like Commodore and Spectrum releases. Well, yeah, thank you very much uh, for listening to Daily Thompson Super Test Blurb on the Commodore 64 in markets everywhere in the early 80s. All right, so yeah, I've uh, disappeared for probably a week. I, I like to lash these videos out as many as as many as I can, really. Uh, but yeah, I disappeared because just like uh, mental health issues, I've never really suffered with any mental health issues. I've had, you know, depression like everybody else a little bit, but got over it. But kind of came to a crushing blow for me over the last week. Um, where I've literally debilitated some to some respects. I w wasn't able to go to work. Uh, I just couldn't get my mind off things. So, yeah, and, and just to maybe elaborate on that uh, again, like I say, it's personal, but I'm, I'm anonymous, so as long as nobody doxes me, I don't mind so much. So the story basically goes, and I hope some people can learn or empathise from this. Uh, I had a partner. We had a kid together. For no real or obvious reason we broke up uh and a lot of the context kind of surrounding the breakup you know like like didn't bother me at the time because i kind of thought oh that it, it, we'd always get back together uh the context was kind of like uh my partner wanted a bit of a gap a bit of a break so she could appreciate me more and the, there was truth to that i mean i always loved her i never i was never like uh like asking for more appreciation but yeah absolutely like i treat her in a way maybe that she didn't treat me but that was throughout the whole relationship it wasn't like i i was just extra romantic i would say and she gave me all the feedback i needed uh for the most part so but it kind of ended with her saying that she wanted you know show me a bit more appreciation and i wasn't entirely negative at the time but then i suppose over the two and a half or almost three years since i've said so many comments that relate to our family how good the family was how i made her happy and it's it's really difficult because she does agree she agrees with you know most of it uh so obviously in my head it's like come on then you know why not but i've just you know it's like once a month i've just gone on uh you know just mentioning mentioning things and it's essentially you know driven her further away i mean and i'll be i'll be honest i'm not like nasty i'm not horrible i'm just saying the same things you know over and over again which 
you know, anyone who gets nagged, anyone who's been in a relationship, and if you get nagged consistently over and over again, you're either the type of person who can accept that in, in somebody or it's going to, you know, freaking really get to you. Uh, now, I've got to say, my ex-partner is an amazing person. She's been through more shit in her life, you know, like me me sending these messages isn't going to stop her being an amazing person, but obviously mentally it freaking it gets to her. And part of the feedback she started to give me has obviously been like, you know, just stay away from me, which, you know, I, I massively, you know, I regret. I regret that I've had anything to do towards her feeling unhappy. Uh, and it, again, it's not because I've been saying overly, there's nothing, I've literally couldn't find anything that I've said that's like nasty. It's just like things that I've probably said that aren't true at times, but uh, yeah, it's just the constant nagging and, and reminders that I've done. And it's essentially soured our relationship, which then makes it worse for, for our kid uh, who we have together, who you've heard, you've heard on this channel, the special guests. Um, yeah, and I suppose ultimately I've taken steps over the last. Like I've had the like the the worst bit happened to me over the the weekend. Uh, my daughter told me that uh, she'd been spending time with some guy. Obviously, this guy was the person that mum's seeing, which is her own prerogative. But then it's like I don't, you know, the fact that my daughter's telling me who's around my daughter, and then I asked in a very court, you know, kind of cordial message just like you know is, is this happening and then it just ends up into an arg argument uh uh so you know and at the end of the day i can only look to my own faults and certainly part of how i'm feeling at the moment and how i've just like taken this massive dive over the last week has been massively part of my own uh my own behavior well my my own words uh yeah no absolutely absolutely in between obviously most of the things i ever say to to my ex or to, to most people but specifically even to my ex was just I, even now i need to step away from this everything was positive most things were positive except for these reminders i mean this is a person who almost everything she does i i adored uh and she's a you know a person like all of us with faults uh <laughs> you know and i i adore them too uh so you know i'm i've got no yeah it's just obviously all of that it just it, it's it crashed down on me over this last week and i've not really been able to to do much really and am i feeling a little bit better maybe 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 you know a few days later i'm feeling better not with the circumstances just with my feelings i've never been this low before never been this depressed so it's been i've never been in one of these situations before i'll be perfectly frank with you my ex and the daughter of my mum is my first and only love really the first and only person that i've loved and we had a brilliant relationship from start to finish and you know since we kind of had a separation it's been me who's you know ultimately been the negative negative uh person and you know i'm i'm sorry for my negativity to everyone because it's probably had an impact you know on on a lot more people than than i know but i also have reached out to people recently probably a lot later than i should have and i thank them uh so yeah uh i don't know if if that little tale will help any of you it's uh you can always reach out and have, have a chat with me. I, I'm open to discussion. I'm still in the middle of healing. I'm, well, I'm not healing. <laughs> yeah, I'm still still fairly low, but I've just got to the point where I can start doing things again. So, yeah, thank you for, for listening to my ramble. It kind of feels good to get it out, even if, uh, even if nobody listens to it. It's good to get it out, and in the future, somebody might find this and it might help them i don't i don't know how it might help them but just hearing somebody's experience that random or on the internet so yeah for uh for the game blurb reactions the game blurb massive universe sorry for the sour one but uh thank you for listening and to all and sundry it's almost christmas peace out peace